That's the place where a 20-year-old called Jaden Hayden beat a 75-year-old man repeatedly in the face. Just minutes ago, we pressed authorities, asked them whether Westwood Nursing Center was capable of safely isolating coronavirus cases. And we were told this, quote, this is an open investigation and we cannot comment, needless to say. But it turns out one of Governor Gretchen Whitmer's executive orders required long-term care facilities to transfer coronavirus patients to designated hub facilities. And according to Jaden Hayden's father, the young man was in a facility specifically because he had tested positive for coronavirus. So how did a 20-year-old, clearly a volatile, unbalanced 20-year-old with the virus, wind up in a nursing home in Gretchen Whitmer State? Well, a Michigan health official tells us that Westwood was not on the list of the state's hubs. So if that's true, how did Jaden Hayden get there? We're trying to figure it out because it's worth knowing. In the meantime, we welcome John James. He's a Republican candidate for Senate in Michigan, and he joins us tonight. Mr. James, thanks so much for coming on. So, Hey, Tucker, thanks how, for having me back. I can't imagine how a clearly unbalanced 20-year-old who's tested positive for the coronavirus wound up in a nursing home. How do you think that happened? Appalling. It's appalling. And, and, and that, that's what happens when you have folks who have never had the, uh, the experience uh, with lives in their hands making decisions. Elections are consequential, yeah. which is why I believe having somebody like me representing the state of Michigan with experience protecting Americans, who's dedicated to protecting the vulnerable. And I can't imagine anybody more vulnerable than seniors during a COVID crisis. The fact there was a 20-year-old in a nursing facility amongst vulnerable seniors is unconscionable. Well, especially since the governor laid out in forensic detail all the things that Michigan residents were not allowed to do, including buying carpet and paint, traveling to their own homes, congregating with their loved ones, going to church. You could basically buy lotto tickets, liquor, and get an abortion, and that was it. How did she miss this? Well, I have no idea, uh, and, and apparently it's still under investigation, right, Tucker? Uh, I think the transparency yeah. is absolutely essential, especially when you consider that 42% of all COVID deaths nationwide are to seniors in nursing homes. We have to protect right. our seniors, Tucker. There's no excuse. And even when you look at places like New York, New Jersey, California, these are areas that have seen the error in their ways, and they're protecting our seniors. We need to do everything that we can to protect our seniors and putting them in situations where everyone is lumped in uh, with the potential for COVID. Look, we have sites, uh, TCF, the old Cobo Hall, uh, uh, the suburban show place, if you're in Michigan, you know where that is. We have alternate facilities to take care of people who are, who are hurting. Uh, but we absolutely must take care of our seniors and leaving them vulnerable like this is, uh, is, is the wrong way to go about it. Especially our captive elderly who can't leave, who can't be visited by their loved ones. You never hear politicians talk about it. They clearly don't care. Um, it's upsetting. Thanks so much for joining us, and I appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks for having me, Tucker.